Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the all new Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Deluxe Class Dinobot Slug or Slag, depending on really what you want to call this guy. Now I actually found this guy at retail. I went out looking for some more 86 Sharktacons and actually came across what I believe is supposed to be the brand new Cyberverse Adventures wave. Now, really and truly the only two new figures in this wave are Dinobot Slug and Cheetor. I decided to pass up on Cheetor just as I didn't think he looked all that great and the rest of the figures are just mere repacks of some of the wave 1 characters that we got like Optimus Prime, Megatron and I believe RC but he looks really really interesting definitely the best out of the bunch judging by some of the promotional picks that we've got going on here for the back now personally I have never really actually checked out the Transformers Cyberverse Adventures show as far as I was concerned I thought it actually discontinued so why this line is still going honestly I'm not entirely sure but the figure looks great definitely a cool looking deluxe class here in the box you can see no actual plastic much like we saw on that recently reviewed Origins Bumblebee a great piece of artwork there of Dino Dinobot Slug in the Triceratops mode. As we spin around here to the side, we have the rest of the Dinobots. Here's hoping that we actually get all of them. And then, of course, here at the back, we've got some of those really cool product shots with here just having an up-close image of the character. So without further ado, let's crack this guy open and see whether or not he is, in fact, actually the best out of the bunch. So here we have Dinobot Slug opened up and out of the packaging. And the figure is actually glorious. For a deluxe class, it's awesome. But for a Cyberverse Adventures figure, honestly, it's a damn miracle. This guy is so so, so well constructed from the plastic to the engineering of the transformation, the accessories and the articulation. Honestly, it's super, super well done. This is by far the best Cyberverse figure that I've actually picked up and I've pretty much got them all. This guy really is super, super well done and he comes with a ton of accessories and the actual plastic they've used is honestly, in some instances, actually better than what we're seeing from the War for Cybertron trilogy and that truly is saying something. It is just such a shame that so long down the line these figures really have started to become picking up as if they were to have released these three or four years ago, I'm pretty sure this line would have been so much more successful than it actually is now. But we'll begin firstly by taking a look at some of his accessories. So we do get included this super awesome blaster with Slug. Now this looks very, very cool. You can see how we've got this almost spike section here at the back. You can see the massive fuselage here to the cannon. And we also do get this super awesome red blast effect. And now both of these beams are in fact attached together. They look really, really well done. These are in fact unique and original for this particular figure. And they've been completely cast out of this super awesome vibrant laser beam-esque red. They simply do just attach here over the top and you can see that creates for a very nice effect and of course they can be wielded in either of the figure's hands but we also do get included a super cool axe for the character. Now as mentioned I haven't seen the show so I can neither confirm nor deny whether or not this is accurate or if he does in fact actually appear in the show but the sculpt work as well as the detailing I think once again looks fantastic. As far as I can tell this is completely cast out of transparent red and they've actually painted the handle here in a gloss black and this too also does look really cool when we actually get him transformed into dino mode this will act as a blaster and you'll see more of that later on in the video but definitely super cool accessories but taking a look here at Dinobot slug himself honestly cyberverse adventures knocking out the park what multiverse is this this guy is so so cool no loose joints and he actually has quite a fair amount of weight to him as well which I was very surprised to see and when we go through articulation you guys are going to be incredibly impressed with one specific part. Now in regards to the detail the head sculpt I think looks fantastic. You can see we've got this really awesome snarling expression going on and I think the attention to detail as well as the paint apps look fantastic. A super nice gun metal here for the actual helmet. I believe this is the colour of cast plastic and then of course we've got a really nice silver there for the mouthpiece and a super cool blue visor. You can see the triceratop horns protruding off here to the sides. These are in fact articulated so you can in fact lower and raise these depending on your personal preference and of course we've got this crown section here of the actual triceratops mode on the back which I actually think looks really really cool. As we work our way down to the arms you can see the shoulders have got some super awesome spikes attached to them. Really nice looking paint there where the darker highlights are concerned and the actual torso detailing for a Cyberverse figure I think has come out really really nicely. You can see what I imagine would be the faux dino jaw. You've got the Autobot insignia sculpted in there. Some nice detailing for this chest piece and then just working our way down to the lower section. A little kibbly as to be expected from this character. It's nothing we haven't already seen from the likes of the Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Slug and then as we just spin around here to the back literally no back kibble on this guy at all honestly he cleans up impeccably well so in regards to a design although I may not be the intended demographic for these particular figures I have got to be honest and say I think they've done this character justice and at least in terms of a figure he is super cool now going through articulation in order to actually get the full range of motion here at the head you simply just have to lift the dino head up like so and that allows you to get maximum range here out of the ball joint so this can look up and down it can't really tilt side to side all the 
that much, although it can in fact rotate the full 360, so that's awesome. And once you're done manipulating that, you can then just snap that there back into place. The arms are on ball joints, so it can rotate the full 360 as well as hinge out to the sides. And we can also utilize the transformation joint in order to get a better range of motion there. We do get a hinge joint here at the actual elbow, a swivel just below the elbow due to transformation, no wrist rotation sadly. But the point of articulation which really surprised me, and to be fair, is mainly down to transformation, is that this guy actually has an extendable ab crunch. So in order to actually get to this, you simply just have to lift this section up and it allows the figure to crunch forwards that far as well as back to that far. That is just so, so cool. Honestly, I was not expecting that on this figure whatsoever. You can, of course, then just compress that down. We do get a full waist rotation, which can rotate the full 360. We get ball joints here at the legs, which can kick forwards that far back to I would say about that far before this section does become slightly hindered he can of course do the split full rotation at the thigh past 90 here only on a single joint due to transformation and then finally taking a look here at the foot these can in fact rock side to side to such a fantastic degree so overall in regards to articulation this guy certainly is a pleasant surprise honestly super 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 well done here for a very quick comparison we've got the Cyberverse Deluxe Slug compared next to the Voyager class Netflix Optimus Prime and here he is next to the Cyberverse Deluxe RC. Transformation for Dinobot Slug is actually fairly complicated. I was very surprised when actually transforming him and then I flicked the instruction booklet over and there was a whole load of other steps. Honestly, the steps that have actually got into this guy are super, super cool. And there is one step in particular that I was like, oh my goodness, are Hasbro actually doing this for a Deluxe Cyberverse figure? So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here for the wrist, you're just going to want to collapse them in to create the front section of the Triceratops. We can then rotate here just below the elbow and bend this section back just to really create the posture of the legs for the dino mode so repeat the same process here you're then going to want to come to the shoulders disengage those and bring this entire section all the way down until it does compress we can take these legs and just rest them there like so of course come to this side and repeat the same process so just leave them like so. You're then going to want to rotate here at the waist, take that ab crunch and extend this here all the way up, which will more than likely actually detach the head sculpt, which is awesome as we're now going to want to bring this here to the back and actually rotate this head all the way around. Honestly, I was just not expecting that at all. Once completed, we can then take this section, the crown piece of the Triceratops mode and actually fold that forwards. We can take the horns, fold these in for a more coherent look. And then you're going to want to flip here to the underside and actually try your best to flip out the real lower jaw of the dino mode just like so once that's completed we can then take this region you're going to want to rotate this here all the way back until you do in fact hear a click just like this and once that's completed we can bring the head forwards and these tabs are going to slide into these slots so just line this up appropriately straighten the head out and just compress that there over the top so we're left with something along the lines of this we can then spin our attention here to the back legs now for this once again very good engineering you're going to want to rotate the foot here all the way around so that the actual top of the foot is now at the bottom and repeat the same process and look this is almost Wolf of Cybertron quality in regards to actually having blast effect ports on the bottom honestly this guy is certainly in a league of his own we're then going to want to bend here at the knee once again very similar to the power of the primes slug transformation and then fold the towel out just like so fold this here all the way out lift this foot section up and then just fold that like this repeat the exact same process here for this side so lift the foot up until it does almost soft tab there into place bring this section up take the towel and hinge this once you get past a certain point so just align that up appropriately. We can then connect the two halves. So snap that into place. And there are two tabs here and here that some slots on the soles of the feet will in fact peg into. So just snap them in very securely on either side. And then for some finishing touches, just fold out the hind legs here of the Triceratops mode. And there you've got Dinobot Slug fully transformed up into his pretty awesome Triceratops Dinobot mode. Now, out of the two modes, this is definitely the slightly weaker one, just as he does have a few gaps, which I wish they could have perhaps found the way to have actually concealed. But considering that complex conversion, I think it results in a very well done looking Triceratops mode, especially once again, considering that this guy is merely a deluxe class. Now, in regards to weapon storage, we can take the blaster that we saw in bot mode and port that here into the back. And you can see how 
the blast effect will in fact fit between this slot that we've got going on for this crest section and then we can bring in the axe port that in the top and you can see how that does also act as a laser cannon that is a super super cool look for the character once again i haven't watched the show so i'm unable to tell whether or not this is actually a look that slug slash slag does actually sport in the show but if it is he's definitely looking really really badass now in regards to some of the details here you can see the head sculpt is very cartoonified it looks very childish but that is just the nature and the aesthetic of these particular designs so whilst this isn't my preferred cup of tea i think it's going to be pretty accurate to what's actually seen on screen you can see there is some nice details such as the autopot insignia the triceratops horns are in fact cast out of a translucent red plastic you can see here for this crest or i guess the main section this has been completely sculpted which looks super super cool you can see those spikes there on the legs pretty nice detailing going through the back of the figure you can see for the tail some nice texture detail but this is definitely not my preferred look for the character now in regards to his articulation the jaw can open and close to reveal some pretty nice teeth detailing as well as what i presume is some almost cybernetic tongues which is really really interesting the head unfortunately cannot rotate left to right although it can hinge up and down due to transformation but of course if you hinge this up you are going to expose the bot mode head one thing i will mention is that depending on how you actually have this guy angled it can look as if though he's bottom jaw is actually snapped in half due to the way he transforms so this is actually a faux piece and the real jaw is of course attached to the figure so if you do have this compressed to me at least it looks as if though this is just snapped clean off you can see here for the arms they're on ball joints so they can hinge forward and backwards we get a hinge joint here at the elbow the same can also be said here for these legs so they too are on a ball joint albeit slightly restricted due to this very bizarre looking tab this almost locks it and prevents it from moving all the way forwards we do get a hinge joint here at the knee and the tail is fixed into place so no form of rotation or hinge joint where that's concerned but overall once again a pretty awesome looking deluxe so some final thoughts here for the transformers bumblebee cyberverse adventures deluxe class slug overall as you guys have probably guessed i'm actually really surprised with how this figure turned out of course with the cyberverse adventures deluxe figures they do have a rather stealth stigma surrounding them as personally at least for me i do think they came way too late these guys should have been released three or four years ago when really the show was just beginning and not towards the tail end of the show but i actually think Think in regards to this guy's quality it's really really well done some of those figures that we got in wave one had very bad qc in regards to the tolerances of some of the joints some figures which come to mind would be optimus and megatron they were super loose and floppy but here with slug all of the joints are really really tight and then that leads me on to talk about the plastic quality honestly super super impressive almost better than what we've expected with the war for cybertron trilogy which is something that i was not expecting to state about a cyberverse deluxe in regards to the robot mode detailing i think it's pretty cool i actually really love the design of his robot mode so that is awesome in itself and for an actual deluxe class the articulation is just so so well done now of course the ab crunch probably wasn't intentional but due to the way he transforms you've got to utilize it that's just so so well done in my opinion it's a step in the right direction i really am hoping that for future releases hasbro can find some sort of way to integrate ab crunch onto their future deluxe figures as it works so well with this guy and really does help the posability all of the joints feel incredibly stiff and tight you can see we've got those awesome anchor rocker pivot joints joints which we've really seen throughout the line so overall for those of you who are in fact actually a fan of these cyberverse deluxe figures i think this guy is going to be a must have and i really do think you are going to be super super impressed especially if you did like some of those earlier figures as at least in my opinion he is by far the best out of the entire bunch even beating rc which i actually thought was an incredibly impressive figure so overall that just about wraps up my review if you guys would like to see me review the cyberverse cheetor please let me know down in the comment section below it's just that upon first glance the figure didn't look all that in the actual package but if there is enough demand for it maybe i'll go out and pick him up and give that character a chance i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please do let me know down in the comment section below and until my next review i'll see you then thanks for watching